Hello comrades, the Western Soviet here, and today we'll be playing some World of Warships, and I have stated that I would be doing a video on this, and it's finally time. This is the North Carolina, the American Tier 8 Battleship. I, I unlocked the North Carolina, I played a few games with her, and after being torped, killed by my friend, after I was taking on a Yamato, being ripped apart by a Yamato, being ripped apart by two Bismarcks, and after being torpedoed by a Fubuki, I really am having trouble with this ship. This ship, like, I could use my free XP when I'm saving up my free XP. This ship does not turn well. This ship turns so slow like to get the rudder to shift is such a pain in the ass hopefully you get in world of warships and when they announced they were adding the missouri they specifically stated that you would need your free xp for it so i'm trying to mount it get as much free xp as possible because i want the missouri because the mighty mo is the mighty mo but anyways we are in a tier 8 battleship, we're in a tier 8 game, there's a Turpitz, an Amagi, a New Mexico, a Braven, and a Fuso on the enemy team. They got two Mitsukis, we got a Mayhem and a Mitsuki. Alright. I'm not 100% good in this ship, like I said, I've only played like 5 games in it. And they weren't really good games. Action stations. Alright. Like most American battleships, it has 16-inch guns, triple-mounted, and three gun turrets. It has nine of them. It is brit bristled with anti-aircraft guns, like most American battleships are. Like, I have slept on the U.S. Alabama overnight. I have stayed on the U.S. Alabama. It is a beautiful ship. It is littered with anti-aircraft guns. They're everywhere, wall to wall. She does not have really good side armor, so you want to play her. I'm going to try to play her like the Dunkirk. Do not show my side. And try to only show him the bow of the ship. Try to avoid using that rear, that good old rear gun battery. But alright. I'm going to follow this Bismarck in. That is a Bismarck, right? Yeah. Oh, we got a Dunkirk. Alright. Get the bow pointed. That way. Now watch. Watch that rudder shift back to zero. Now I'm holding the other way to try to get the rudder to turn quicker. Alright. He's behind an island and he is not though. And that is a Pensacola. That is a Pensacola, right? Yep. Six shots out. I mean this is a beautiful ship. I love American battleships prior after, you know. I, I, I like American battleships. I like Japanese battleships more, but don't get me wrong. I like American battleships. All right. That is an Amagi on our flank, and she is completely upgraded, it looks like. You see how she likes our 16-inch shells. They're dropping. She dodged them. Alright, like I said, we're going to try and follow this Bismarck, but the Bismarck is a fast battleship and I don't have the propulsion upgrade, so we're not 100% fast like we should be. Shots out, that German cruiser.
one hit. I hate that auto rudder shit, because that will get you killed. How the rudder just automatically turns on its own, it will get you killed. You have to be careful and you have to babysit it. I wish they would add the US Alabama. Even if it was if it if it is just a premium battleship, I will buy it. Because the US Alabama so far is one of my favorite American ships. The Lucky A. Lover. That's the shit I'm talking about. That was the Amagi or the Bismarck hitting us in the flank. Alright, that is a Fuso. Open fire on him with 16 inch shells. Let's see if any of those hit. 10,000 damage. See, even cruisers hitting you in the flank. This is what I'm talking about. This is why you see them doing stuff like that. Like, only pointing their bow towards them. Let's get some shots off with that bism that turpid. Alright, now we need to bug out. We took way too much damage in that engagement. Now, like I st like I have stated, I am still learning the ship. All right, guns are reloaded. I want to get some parting shots on that Fuso again, but. Ain't gonna happen, Captain. That, on the other hand, is in New Mexico. Let's see what his all or nothing armor concept does against 16 inch shells. Give me 4,000 damage. I'm trying to get out of that Amagi's firing range. Alright, the Amagi went behind the island. That gives us time to turn the bow of the ship towards those enemy battleships. Actually, first things first, I want to get more shots off from the flank. Oh, that Bismarck kills it. Alright, get the gun turrets pointed. So we turn this big bitch. One hit. We're winning, but I'm not contributing as much as I could be. Alright. Now we want to turn the rudder. Sixteen inch shells out. God, that Bismarck secondaries, though. The secondaries are just chewing that New Mexico. Alright, Cyclone, I gotta, I gotta fire him with my salvo. We're all about to disappear off each other's radar. stop whatever's uh firing those torpedoes evidently uh, might have been fire on me and I don't want to get hit with torpedoes now we're going in for that fuso We got a damage repair almost off. That Fuso is going to point the bow towards us, though. 
That means me and you old Bismarck can't. Alright, so we're me and the Bismarck right here are gonna be gunning for that uh, Fuso right now, and then we're gonna go after the Turkish and Yamagi out there. But I have to show them that I am We don't wanna hit the Bismarck because the Bismarck is sailing where he's trying to Secondaries need to open up immediately. This guy is going to try to ram me. Oh, we won. <laughs> well, that was quick. See, I'm, I'm still really trying to learn this ship. Like, it is really hard <laughs> to go from, uh, the, the, it's, it's hard to go from the Colorado being able to turn on a dime. Like, that ship can throw, I can throw the ship around. The Colorado is so much easier to throw it around compared to the ship. This ship is so sluggish. But it's very understandable that it's sluggish because... The, Co the North Carolina is long, is long compared to, this is about, this is about the build of the, uh, no, it, it's more along the lines between both of these is the Colorado, and the Colorado is, sh is so much smaller than her, but we're going to take her out one more time, one more time. That was actually, I didn't auto-enable these, shit, hang on, this will only be a minute, I'm trying to get her at least upgraded, maximum speed, yeah, we definitely want that one. Hmm. Alright, we auto-enable that, and then I'm going to slap another one of these on there. Okay. Can we research anything? You know what? I'm just going to pay the difference. Oh my god, that didn't help at all. <laughs> Alright, well, we go back into battle. Now watch, we're going to get a tier 10 match, because anytime I sail a tier 8 battleship, I rarely get a tier a tier 8 match. I always get a tier 10, where there's a Yamato on the enemy team, and then the Yamato tears me a new one. <laughs> it's funny. It's funny, the ship I want the most is what kills me the most in all my tier 8 ships. I kind of want the Montana too. I want the Montana. Okay, it's only, it's a tier 10 match, but there's no tier 10 battleships. Okay. They got a Lexington, we got a Shokok. Which, I think we got the carrier advantage because... That's one of my favorite carriers. I don't sail carriers in this game because I, I really don't want to try to learn that. I like my battleships because in naval combat, I like battleships the most. I love reading about battleships and all that stuff. But anyways. Alright. We're going to go to sea. For good luck. Alright. Let's hope we don't die immediately in the beginning. What do we got to look out for? Well, definitely that. There's a lot of tier 8 battleships on the enemy team.
Like, everybody says, like, the, how much they hated the Colorado, but I actually enjoyed playing the Colorado. It's a fun ship if you know how to play it. If you could learn how to play it. That is a Bismarck, I think. No, that is not. Bismarck only has one smokestack. That has two. It's a lot longer, too. Everybody else was launching theirs, so I felt like I needed to launch mine. Alright, there's a battleship 25 kilometers out. What is my firing range? 24. <laughs> my 16-inch shells are out. Let's see if any of them hit, shall we? Is it me or does her superstructure look like a cone? Like a cone. Like a cone head, like a construction cone. It just looks like they they took a battleship and they slapped a construction cone as a superstructure. Alright. That should be enough lead. Like, it depends if I put the lead in the right spot. Twelve thousand damage will do. I think the carrier is over here. Alright, if he's traveling that fast, that should hit. See, and I've gotten an LP turned. I've gotten a lot better at using uh my scout plane. Good. Now let's return to ship and he's definitely within gunnery range. Yeah, he's definitely within gunnery range. I should be able to hit him easily. The problem is, is they don't arc the gun turrets as high anymore. There's just dive bombers everywhere. So I have to clear this island first then in order to accurately open fire on that cruiser. Now if we die, we die. But if we don't... Alright. Opening fire. He turned. Is that a Cleveland? No, that's probably the Baltimore. Because I don't think it's the Des Moines. Until I learn how to play this, I don't feel I don't feel I should put my close beta test flag on this. That's why I'm flying that pirate flag. If you must know. You can't shrug off 16 inch shells easily. Destroyers, a Fletcher and a Benson. I gotta watch out for both the destroyers. Alright, we're turning that way, we don't sail around this island. Do they did that show Shokok literally nail a Fletcher with torpedoes? That is actually pretty dope. That hurt more than a kick in the balls. <laughs> Lethal scar. Oh. Well, we're about to sail around the corner head of the island.
Shots out. I was gonna just turn, turn and go that way, but uh, there's something capping that, and I don't know what it is. All right, shots out at the carrier. Come on, hit, hit. Give me this one hit. All right, there's 6,000 more damage. Yeah, we need to get uh get going quicker. All right, there's more shots out. We haven't taken any damage yet, and I like to keep it that way. Dude, he got cooking. Enemy destroyer. Enemy destroyer. Oh. Carrier should be dead. Alright. No, we're gonna mark that destroyer and then I'm gonna sail around the corner of this island and I'm gonna. Haha! <laughs> we kinda got gypped on that citadel though. <laughs> like, bad. I am, however, going to do something incredibly stupid. We're going to flank these uh, enemy battleships. I have taken no damage. My ship's on full health. And... If I can keep them from being able to hit me in the side and I deal with this one in front of me. Hmm. The carrier is dead, but... Their one destroyer is still alive. Reverse. Shots out. I think I did something incredibly stupid. We're gonna try to get shots out of that Megami. I think that's the Megami. Now this is the point where we just say screw it because we're, we gotta cap points. There's that destroyer again. All right, we're moving. Oh, I lost two anti-aircraft guns. Damn, I lost two emplacements. Actually, it's even worse. I 
know it's not 100% good to fire at the front of a battleship. At this point, I have no choice. At this point, I'm going in. Come on. It's another 9,000 damage. Now we're getting into a chase fight. He cannot get away from me, technically. And he damn well knows it. I gotta start turning, though. A destroyer's gonna try to torp me. some health all right I am going in see usually when I do a video on these ships I try so hard in the video that I learn how to play the ship that is my whole goal right now is just to go all try hard mode This is why I'm trying to get out of the cap circle. The moment I turn my guns. Oh shit! All the shit! Oh my god. I gotta get away from this damn destroyer. Well, fuck! Well, shit. Let's see how this match plays out. Wow. It's actually a pretty cool looking cruiser. This is our only remaining destroyer. All it is is a Sims. Alright. Bismarck sailing up here to deal with their uh, North Carolina. I'm working on getting my Bismarck at the moment too because that's where I want to stop in the German battleship line. I really don't want what's after it. This Bismarck is doing all the work. Let's get a closer look at the ships. North Carolina is trying to. Megami's dead. It means this North Carolina is all that's left. Here come torps. Right in the bow.
Can he make it? Can he actually get the Kraken? He needs to... Well, he has a limited amount of time if he wants to get that Kraken. Well, looks like he's not getting it 57,000 damage. I'm getting better with it. Alright, comrades, I'm going to call this video here. My name is Western Soviet. Thank you for joining me here on World of Warships, and this is the North Carolina. Bye.